K-Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. And on tap tonight, it's the Los Angeles Clippers going up against the Sacramento Kings. I'm Brian Anderson. With me tonight, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Ali LaForce joining us courtside. Now the starting group for the Sacramento Kings. Fox and Herter man the guard spots. Barnes and Murray at the three and the four. And it's Sabonis in at the five. And for Los Angeles, George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. Russell Westbrook out there with James Harden. And it's Zubats in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Rivalry games, Grant, always extra spicy, especially when they feature teams from the same conference. Ooh, I like a little spice. But remember, only one team per conference gets to the final. So that's going to naturally develop some rivalries here and there. So tonight should be a really competitive game. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. Fox against Westbrook. Zubats with it. Pass to Leonard. I see him, I see him. Just five to shoot. Rebound by the Kings. This game against Los Angeles here. Their first look at the Clippers. They took the season series against this opponent last year. High profile games are the best. You know, Richard, when it comes to excelling in every facet of being a guard, De'Aaron Fox is that guy. And there's no question, he can take over with the scoring and get his teammates involved, B.A. He is a pest on defense. This man does it all. And it's good. Two points. Oh, this is why you get Leonard the ball inside and just let him go to work. Sabonis outside. And we're about a minute into the first. Pass to Barnes. Takes the three. Sinks the tray. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Harden surveying the D. George with it. Here's Zubats. He's guarded by Sabonis. Kicks it out to Westbrook. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Hitting back with the three of his own. Westbrook not giving an inch. Herder against Harden. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on Ivica Zubac. Well, of late, it seems like Kevin Herter has taken his game to another level, Richard. While well, a knockdown shooter, the Kings have made it a priority to set him up for quality looks, and they have reaped the benefits of those looks. And the first one at the line is good. Known as one of the game's great three-point shooters, Herter knows his role and plays it well. Both shots good from the strike. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of three from the floor. George outside. And he lobs it up top. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Westbrook against Fox. Lays it up and banks it in. This is the thing about Fox. He has the length to do damage on the inside. Harden the pass to Zubats. And the officials That's will green. call the illegal screen here. Let's take a look now at some numbers for Harrison Barnes. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Herter passes to Murray. Zubats with the steal. 13 feet out. And it's Harden. That time on the assist by Leonard. You don't see a ton of mid-range jumper from Harden, but he's great from distance. 
Pass to Sabonis. Here's Barnes. And it's out of bounds to Sacramento. All right, let's take a quick pause and look at the best shooting teams from last season. The Kings in second. They were so consistent with their shooting. Maybe not lights out, but they played smart and didn't let good looks go to waste. Time called here. The Kings decide to talk it over. What an exciting season 22-23 was for Sacramento. But the run ended too soon, Richard. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people were rooting for the Kings. Fresh blood in the playoffs. But in the end, it was their upstate rivals, Warriors, that reminded everyone who they are. And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. Tucker's checked in for Zubats. Mann comes in for Paul George. Norman Powell, he's checked in for James Harden. And it's Highland in for Russell Westbrook. Just five on the clock. Here's Mitchell. And he buries his first look. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. See, this is what analytics don't take into account. Some guys thrive in the mid-range. Really depends on the shooter. It's actually kind of lazy. Here's man. Pass to Powell. Leonard for three. And can't get it. He's now one of three. For Sacramento, they've gone three of three so far from the floor. Monk against Highland. Here's Vizinkov. Here he goes. Hey, Tucker with the defensive effort. Showing great intensity around the rim. It's part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Highland looking for an opening. His man. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. The Kings on top, up by two. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after the break. We hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And what do you think about the Kings here, guys? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Well, let's see if they're able to keep it up. So far, their shot selection and ball movement has been on point. At Grant these days, more and more teams emphasize the importance of switch defense. It's so true in the modern NBA, B.A. Every team has to be able to switch to take away a lot of the action of the offensive team. So having defenders who can guard multiple players on the court is a must. Kyle and George are out on the wings. Even to Zubats out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's Westbrook in at the point. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Now here's Powell. He's scoreless. Zubats passes to Westbrook. George outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Westbrook. Rebounded by Fox. 
And so it's Fox with it. He'll bring it up for the Kings. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. And you'd have to think that luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had it off night at the defensive end for sure. It just seems like the defense wasn't interested. They got away with one. First one falls for him. And the Clippers making a change here. Harden's checked in. And the Kings also making a change. Herders checked in for Monk. He's off on the second. The Clippers trail. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, Demonis Sabonis and De'Aaron Fox are a great tandem. Sabonis said, quote, he lets me be me. A starting point guard usually doesn't like the big man bringing up the ball, but he lets me do my thing, and I feel like we feed off of each other. He's so fast. He get to the rim, I can get him open, and then let him do his thing, so it works both ways. Brian? All right, Ali, thank you. Now here's Fox. Coming off a terrific game against Cleveland. Pass to Murray. Fox against Westbrook. That's good from Fox. On the assist by Murray. The defense comes at Fox hard, but he's ready for it. He knows how to stay agile and nimble inside. Westbrook, the pass to George. Shoots over Barnes. George's shot is off. Good shot, gone bad. You gotta finish there. And to touch on Sabonis' game, his rebounding might not get enough credit, RJ. And it should be, a. Eh? He's almost always a lot to be a top 10 rebounder in this league. He's a quality passer, and sometimes his glass work falls under the radar. Westbrook can't hit. Even though it wasn't a clear path, he knows that that's a shot he should make more often times than not. Herter can't hit. For Los Angeles, they've gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Murray against George. And the layup falls. George has got his first points in this one. Yeah, tough bucket for George. He's just so good at maintaining his focus. Outside Barnes. Out to Fox. Beyond the arc. Paul George pulls down the board. For Los Angeles, they've got nothing to go out of five attempts so far this quarter. Turn around, Jay. Rebound by the Kings. A minute nine left in the first half of this game. Herder. And down it goes. Jam that one home. And <laughs> sends it home with some passion. I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here. Hang it up there like that. Timeout called. The Clippers. They're coming off that loss against Denver. I really think that L has to fall on their defense or a lack thereof. Just not enough focus at that end of the floor. Some of it was solid shooting from their opponent, but they didn't have any teeth with their defense. Need to be more active than they were. And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Zubats. Mann comes in for Paul George. Powell, he's checked in for James Harden. And it's Highland in for Russell Westbrook. 
Here's Mann. No made baskets yet. He can't get it to go. Great D that time from McGee. Mitchell against Highland. 11 feet out. Rebounded by Highland. And so it's Highland with it. He brings it up for the Clippers. Seven point differential. Man, the pass to Highland. Here's Man, covered by McGee. Man misses. That's the shot you hope for. Right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. And the basket by Monk. Monk's gotten his first bucket of the night. Good execution. They're getting some short range looks here. And here's Leonard. Can't get it to drop. And so it's Sacramento. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Defense is setting the tone. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. A pretty close game for the Kings throughout the first quarter. They led by two after the first. They ended the second with a solid nine-point lead. A nice show of force by them. Big fella, what's your take on Sacramento so far? You guys know I appreciate when a team takes a commitment to attack in the painted area. Get those opportunity looks. Good things tend to happen. That's how we built this league. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Clippers. Obviously, that was L-Y. It's ugly. Shooting under 30% from the field. Disorganized. Chucking up bad shots. Man, I'll tell you, they have to adjust their play, and they got to get better looks. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. The Kings leading. How about Malik Monk? One of the most potent scoring guards in the league, RJ. See, people forget, B.A., that when Monk entered the league, he was only 19 years old. So it took him a couple of years to find that three-point stroke. Now, this man is instant offense and has zero fear out there. On the court for Sacramento. Herter and Barnes fill the wings. Murray and Sabonis are the bigs. And it's Fox in at the point guard. Now here's Harden. He's averaging about 15 points per game. He's been a solid contributor. Making the difficult look easy. That's what James Harden does. Taking contact, making the basket. And it's Fox missing. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Here's George. And the shot's good. George has got his second bucket on the night. 30 play from George in the paint. Getting by the contact and to his finish. Fox against Westbrook. Fox, that's good. The defense kind of opened up for him, and he took full advantage. The Clippers shooting around 35% from the field so far. Westbrook outside. Pass to George. Outside Harden. Parked it down low that Three. time. Got hit with the three-second call. And checking the 2K leaderboard. These teams led the league in three-point percentage last year. In third, the Clippers. That kind of efficiency from range is generally an indicator of a dominant offense. Sabonis against Zubats. Sabonis, the pass to Herter. Out to Fox. Clock at six. Great D that time from Zubats. Defense pulled out all the stops and shut him down there. 
And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Brian, the Clippers next season will inaugurate their futuristic new home court in Inglewood, designed to give fans every comfort. And the Clippers a distinct advantage as well. Along the baseline, 5,000 fans will fill 51 uninterrupted rows. The section, nicknamed The Wall, is acoustically designed to be loud. So, Brian, you better get ready. <laughs> Turn it up. Thanks, Allie. George passes to Westbrook. They get it back. Second chance effort. And the play by George as he finishes it off for two. George has got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, usually not a huge presence on the offensive glass, but George attacks this time. Timeout call. Sacramento. All right, Grant, talking about Avita Zubats, what do you like most about his game? Well, just his defensive presence. I mean, he's willing to challenge shots at the rim, refusing to give anything easy. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Tucker's checked in for Zubats. Mann comes in for George. Powell, he's checked in for Harden. And it's Highland in for Russell Westbrook. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Vizenkov. The fader. Here's McGee. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. Good things come to those who hustle. He creates the second chance opportunity. Monk against Powell. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Man, the defender really went after him. down the first one. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. The Kings have got just two of six in the second half. Here's Duarte. Powell covers. There's 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Down low. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Throws good. McGee. Yeah. 
And both free throws good for McGee. And so it's Highland who brings up the ball for the L.A. Clippers. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Pass to man. 13 feet out. Sacramento grabs the miss. McGee's got five rebounds in the game. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. <laughs> this is legit showmanship right here. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the Tomahawk there. That's more than just getting two points. That was sending a clear message. With one on the clock. Doesn't go that time. And so it's the Sacramento Kings earning this break in the action. Up 10. And they've effectively guarded Kawhi Leonard all night. Not an easy task by any means. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. He'll be proud of that one. Bigs love when their passing skills are noticed. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. The Clippers shooting at 32% from the floor. Not good. We've got George. James Harden out there with Russell Westbrook. Then there's Ivica Zubats. And it's Tucker in at the four. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Now here's George. Good on the bucket. And you see the creativity George has. Just comfortable operating and screening roles and taking what he sees. Outside Barnes. Off target from outside. The Clippers trail. It's George on the wing. Kicks it out to Westbrook. And the foul called on Paul George. That's foul number two for him. And the Kings shooting at 45% of the game so far. Here's Fox. The Clippers grab the miss. They'll be playing host to Houston for their next game. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. They're losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. George with the block. Yeah, rejecting the try there. George firing up his guys. Westbrook, that's good. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. The Kings have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. And the Kings call time here. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Mike Brown was saying to the team. Despite the lead, Coach was stern with the guys, mentioning to the team, do not let up. I've seen some big comebacks in this league, and this is not over. An interesting message. B.A.? Ali, thank you. Now here's Fox. He gets the 14-footer to fall. And the Kings lead by eight. Nice use of the pick there. Fox lost the defender and capitalized. Here's George, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. They'll pin that one on Harrison Barnes.
That free throw, no good. And you got to give Paul George credit for his mental toughness. There's always lots of chatter out there, but he tunes it out and just focuses on his game. And the second free throw is good. Now here's Fox. Outside Murray. Back to Fox. That shot off the mark. Excellent D there from Westbrook. Here's Harden. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's on De'Aaron Fox. There is no one better at drawing fouls than James Harden. It can be frustrating for a defender. It's an art that he has mastered. It's the first one, and that trims the lead to six. Let me say this. If you need it, he's got it. Harden does everything you want out of an offensive weapon. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Tucker. Good on both. And those were big shots. At this point in the game, you can't afford to leave any points at the line. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Pass to Herder. They grabbed their own miss. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D avoided Valley and got in perfect position to alter that shot. This is what we've come to expect from Harden. Doesn't back down from taking the important shot to the game. Fox, that's good. Fox has gotten four this quarter. What energy from Fox when they're up against it, proving he's ready to be that guy. Here's George. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got four rebounds now. Barnes passes to Herter. And here's Fox. Ooh, nice D from George. For Los Angeles, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Pass to Leonard. Over Herner. Oh, he nails it! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! Oh, man, what a bucket by Leonard! His team counts on him when the time is short because he can handle the pressure. And this is the trust that Fox's teammates have in him. What a shot right there. And the Clippers call time here. They're behind by five. 41 seconds left to play in the fourth. Time now to present our new balance player of the game, De'Aaron Fox. 
Can you say vintage? <laughs> wow, this was a vintage performance. I mean, so much of the game is about the three ball today, but his focus was going hard into the paint and doing damage from inside. Monk, he's checked in for Herter. Here's George. Count it! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! This team counts on George to deliver points. His consistency under pressure is key to their offense. Now here's Fox. Out of bounds. It'll be the Clippers ball. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're behind by three. And we've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. seconds separating the shot and game clocks. George, no good. And now we've got an intentional foul. Timeout call. Sacramento. They're up by three. 23 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. has got the ball here for the Kings. They've led by as much as 10. And this is the absolute wrong time to stop communicating. They have to get in sync. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And it's in. Oh, what a sensational bucket. That brings it within one. 19 seconds left in the final quarter. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. Shooting two. Good on the first. And that'll put him up, too. So he gets them both. 
And it's a three-point game. The last make was huge. Now, realistically, the worst-case scenario for them is OT. And looking to even the score with a huge three. That's their only option. They have to get a good look from deep here. And buries it from deep. Oh, an enormous three-pointer. Now Fox to win the game. Oh, and a chance to win the game. But the last-minute shot is offline. Regulation is ended, and we are headed to overtime. We'll take a quick break and then get you back to the action. Glad to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this game. And the Clippers with the ball. George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. Russell Westbrook out there with James Harden. And it's Zubats in at the center. George. Oh, and they take the lead. And just using balance and coordination, George can make plays in baskets that many can't. To the paint. Here's Sabonis. It's Dorte on the wing. Murray against Leonard. Six on the shot clock. Outside Monk. Jacks up a three. Buries it from three. He just makes it look so easy on offense. He, like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Now here's George. Outside Harden. The shot won't fall. Nice D from Sabonis. The Kings leading. Monk passes to Sabonis. It's rebounded by Zubats. And for the Clippers, they're shooting about 43% in this one. Here's Leonard. Oh, he got it! He got it! <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Sacramento calls timeout. They trail by one. 46 seconds left to play in overtime. Some changes for Sacramento. Harrison Barnes comes in for Dorte. And Fox is subbed in for Mitchell. Westbrook against Fox. The three. Rebound by the Clippers. Oh, Leonard leaves no room for error. Leonard doesn't shy away from these moments, embracing his role as a leader for his team. Fox against Westbrook. And another shot. It's tipped. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. 
Now Los Angeles with it. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Free throw is good, and that gives him a four-point cushion. In this spot, so many times, James Harden, that's a great bet to come through. And so both free throws good, and it's a five-point game. Well, they wanted every last one of those, and he delivered, making it a two-possession game. Timeout call, Sacramento. They're down by five. There's 18 seconds left in overtime. against Monk the three from Barnes and it's good and he's brought them within two points now and now an intentional foul they need the ball back as soon as possible First one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. Yeah, I'm sure the haters are grinning at home. Here's Westbrook's chance to silence them all. And so he drops them both, and it's a four-point ball game. That should put this game on ice, not leaving any points behind. Here's Fox. Can't nail the jumper. So a close game sees the Clippers taking this one. It was touch and go there for a while, but in overtime, they caught a second win. They really did, and it was wild. Everything it took just to get to the extra period, and then their surge at the end. Whew. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? James, I'd love to know whether it's scoring, playmaking, or your defense, what aspect of your game are you most proud of? Being able to play a full course of a game and, uh, you know, and make an impact every single play. Uh, that's what I'm here for, and uh, that's what I have to do. It's been fun to watch. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.